Hey kids, it's the Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Now welcome back to the channel on this absolutely beautiful day where today you join me out and about on my newest motorcycle. This is my 2023 Kawasaki Z900 RSSE that I bought in July last year. I love a retro motorcycle me and I think this is one of the best out there. Indeed, could it be the perfect motorcycle? So, if you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that I love all motorcycles, but in particular, I love adventure bikes, touring bikes, and retro motorcycles. Now, in the case of the latter, I own three retro bikes. I own the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650, the brilliant Triumph Speed Twin 1200, and this, my lovely Kawasaki Z900 RSSE, the subject of today's video. But what makes me think this might be the perfect motorcycle? Stick around and I'll tell you. So first off, something that's very important to me as an aging and aching rider, and that is comfort. The Kawasaki Z900 RS is a comfy place to be. Beautifully padded seat, plenty of room on it as well, so if you're a shorty or a tall fella, you can move about on it and get comfortable for you. Handlebars in a nice position, nice and wide, good leverage to get around the corners. Your legs are tucked up underneath you, not in a super sporty position but just, you know, just enough to remind you that are on a motorcycle and not an armchair. And yeah, it's a comfortable place to be. Most retro bikes are, but uh, yeah, Z900 RS, really nice riding position, so comfort, definitely something I appreciate. Next up, the looks of this bike. Of all the retro motorcycles, I think this one is by far the best looking. Don't get me wrong, I love my Royal Enfield, I love my Strength Speed Twin, but this thing, I think, looks absolutely beautiful. From the styling of it, that lovely fuel tank, the paint schemes that Kawasaki come up with, just everything about the bike looks right. Gold wheels always do me. I just think it's a lovely looking motorcycle. And another reason why it might be the perfect bike. Something else where the Z900 RS absolutely scores is in its engine configuration, as far as I'm concerned anyway. I've uh, historically owned lots of twin cylinder motorcycles. Well, this one is a four cylinder motorcycle. And that means it's very, very smooth. Now often, uh, four-cylinder bikes don't have a lot of go, do they? But this one doesn't suffer from a lack of go at all. More about that later. But yeah, in terms of its uh, smooth riding, this four-cylinder unit delivers in spades. Sounds great as well. This bike also has fantastic cycle parts. Check this out, Brembo brakes and Olin suspension. Next up, something that makes this bike potentially the perfect motorcycle is its performance and handling on the road. Puts out 109 brake horsepower, this bike, and it's just the right amount for road riding. Okay, you're not gonna go on a track on it, of course. But for road riding, you really don't need more than 109 bhp. And this one, the SE model, with its amazing Olin suspension and Brembo brakes means that the handling and the stopping are absolutely fantastic. So yeah, although it's a retro, doesn't mean it's slow or unexciting. The performance on the Z900 RS, absolutely fantastic, as you'd expect, because it is based on its uh, naked Street Fighter brother, the standard Z900 and it has all the performance of that type of bike. So just because you're on a retro style bike, you're not compromising on its performance and its handling. Love that about the bike. Next up, what else makes the perfect bike? Well, of course, the cost of the bike. This machine is not stupidly expensive. So for example, I've made a note here. If you want the uh, standard bike, it comes in at 11,800 pounds. Not too bad for a bike that offers what this does, I think. Uh, this top of the range one, the SE, comes in at 13,149. Okay, a little bit more expensive, but I still think great value for money. And because the bike has been around for a while now, I think these came out in 2017, 2018, something like that. I had a look on the second hand market. You can pick up a standard bike now with not too many miles on it for around about £7,000 second hand. Something else that I think makes the Z900 RS a very special motorcycle is the fact that it's not just me that loves this bike. Whenever you go out on the uh, Z900 RS, 
and you park up at a cafe or a petrol station, whatever, people come over and say what a nice bike it is. Whenever I put a picture up on my Instagram of this bike, it always gets an awful lot of likes and people constantly saying to me how much they like the looks of this bike. It just looks right. Kawasaki have done a brilliant job of bringing the, uh, the looks and the vibe of the old Kawasaki Z1 of the 1970s. Bang up to date with this. It's one of those bikes that seems everybody loves and they can't all be wrong. So there we have it then. That's just some of the reasons why I think the Kawasaki Z900 RS may be one of the most perfect motorcycles that you can buy. Or is it? Is there something missing about the motorcycle that means it doesn't get that coveted crown? What is that je ne sais quoi, that certain thing that makes you really fall in love with a motorcycle? Well, that thing I think is character. And I have to say the Z900 RS has absolutely none of that whatsoever. Be interested to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below. Okay, that's it for this time. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. Keep the YouTube gods happy. And I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Mr. and Flyer. Cheerio. <laughs> what a bike. Fantastic. Stop recording. <laughs>